What's going on guys? Drop Shot here and we're back with another YouTube video. This time we're going to talk about um, NHL's reputation and some common thoughts about EA NHL. Let's just jump right into it about some things I want to discuss and um, answer and talk about. So one of the things that are talked about in the NHL series is that EA has a small development team and that's why it's kind of hard for them to make a game and update it and whatnot. Which I agree, they are a smaller development team. But they have the resources of a AAA company, obviously working with EA and whatnot. But here are some ideas that also can be taken advantage of because they are a AAA um, company. So one thing that they could do is just hire free work with unpaid internships, as well as let the community help them create minor assets. I know some of the assets in the game are fairly outdated and have been used for many many years or so including i know the um some of the graphics on the scoreboards are a little outdated some of the goalie helmets were a little outdated if you just have those assets available to the community i guarantee people would be more than willing to help out with stuff like that and people want to help because they want the game to you know be successful and People just don't really care about that, and they want exposure for their designs. And it would be nice just to see, you know, say someone like myself, a small, you know, YouTube creator or whatever, um, just working on something, or someone that can say they worked on a NHL game or helped up with it. So it's just something that they should keep in mind, and just getting a little bit of some small help will definitely help them out um, for sure. So I think that's just a way to counter with that. Another thing that is a common misconception with NHL is that people wonder, you know, why is NHL coming to PC? And I think a lot of people grasp this aspect that NHL is still on Ignite, which has been used for around seven years. And that also includes only two Ignite games have actually came to computer. And they're both FIFA titles and they're obviously both, you know, older games. But Ignite should have an end in sight, obviously, with the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, or at least it should be the end in sight with the NHL series. But it just makes no sense to support a PC version of Ignite with NHL, you know, this late into um, it, the cycle, or its cycle. And also, another thing to keep in mind is that Frostbite's also getting fairly old, too. Frostbite, or at least Frostbite, Frostbite 3.0... I should say, is around seven years old in total and has been in sports games for roughly five years. So even that might be gone uh, fairly soon. They might be doing Frostbite 4.0 or whatever. So keep that in mind as well. And another thing I want to touch up on while we're talking about PC NHL, people mention that EA NHL would have an insane modding community and... People say that because the NHL 04 modding community. Well, NHL 04 people mod NHL 04 because they enjoy that actual NHL game and that specific one. If they wanted to just do the newest NHL uh, game on PC, they would just use NHL 09 because that's the newest NHL game on PC. So it's not really just because they want to mod the newest game. They want to do it just because they enjoy NHL 04 specifically, if that makes sense. So, and then also you have to keep in mind people in that modding community. It's a lot different modding because it's a game that was produced 17 years ago with NHL 04 or 12 years ago with NHL 09, which is, you know, obviously a, a lot different when you're working with stuff back then. So modding NHL would have a little bit of a community, but not as big as what you'd think, honestly. Another thing that I want to mention about EA Sports' uh, reputation or EA NHL's reputation is that game changers don't really do anything. And I want to mention this because um, it's a little bit of an indistinct phrase, but uh, here's why, or here's what they're supposed to do, I should say, not why. But they're supposed to play games, you know, early access if you watch anyone else. Obviously, any other NHL YouTuber, you know this, you know they play the games fairly early. I'll pull up on the screen right now, but game changers are supposed to obviously be directly in the game development process and all of that. And you can look on the website where EA talks about the game changers. So either EA is lying or the game changers are lying. Someone in this is lying because, you know, 
Game changers say sometimes, I feel like they don't have that much of a say, but EA also says, you know, they do have quite a bit of say, so. I don't know exactly entirely about that, but I think it should be noted that game changers are supposed to have a little bit of a say, and they obviously do get special treatment. I don't care who you are, they definitely do. But um, Last thing to mention here real quick is that EA is a monopoly with NHL video games. And I think a lot of people f say that because the only thing they were, were really a monopoly with is NFL games because they have specific license to the NFL. That is not the case with the NHL. Licensed uh, NHL games are actually out there that are not produced by EA Sports. That includes NHL Franchise Hockey Manager and this puzzle hockey game that I guess is on your phone or whatever, which is licensed with NHLPA. Um, even t EA has came out and tweeted that they don't have exclusive rights. And I know a lot of people say stuff like that, but it's, it's just not true. So, um, yeah, hopefully I um, cleared up some things. If you already knew some of these things or if you didn't know them, leave them down below in the comments what you thought about this video and comment, you know, whatever you want. So, yeah, thanks for watching if you made it this far. And uh, I appreciate you guys for watching and like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more content like this and I will see you guys in the next video.